I'm here in Elland. I've travelled north today. I'm at Colchester Machine Tool Solutions. Um, Trevor, firstly, we've got this Colchester uh, turning centre here, and this is what you're going to be performing dry machining on. Why would you Why would you want to do dry machining? What's the advantages? Today, Paul, I think everybody's trying to go down the green route um, regarding oils, coolants, fluids. Dry machining, in our partnership with Dorma, okay, we've been able to take out or take away all the coolant from this operation. Okay, now to, in order to do that, you say it's a partnership with Dorma. Is it more about the tooling, or is it more about the machine, or where, where you know what? Yeah, is it just a combination or each individual part? It's a combination, really, Paul. Um, the inserts we're using from Dorma allow us to run this machine with no coolant. The dissipation of heat is through the chips, not into the component itself. But would I be right in saying that you, you, you do need a pretty solid machine in order to do this, don't you? Because I'm yeah. thinking, you know, you, you might encounter vibrations, which obviously give you machine wear. You need to be able to overcome all those with a solid structure. Yeah, the machine has to have a solid base, okay? All our machines are very solid, rigid, okay? Very capable of doing any type of dry machining. Okay, now what I'd like to do now, Trevor, before we run this, and we are going to do that in a second, so keep tuned, uh, here's the actual finished part. Can you maybe talk us through the material and the operations that we're going to see? Okay, the material we have here then, okay, it is quite a soft material, I'll be honest. Um, what we've got, we're just going to face it off, turn in OD with a giant standard general uh, CNMG. The groove is done with a 6mm ball tool. The speed, max hour speed of our machine, we're running at the max speed of this spindle, which is 3,500, but the feed rate is 1mm per rev, not 0.1, 1mm per rev. Okay, so that's not, not hanging around. What about the actual heat in the part? Does that affect the, the outcome of the component in terms of its toler tolerances and accuracies? Not really, no, no, no. The way the, the way the inserts are designed, okay, and let's say it's dissipating the heat through the chips, so most of the heat is taken away from the actual component itself. It does get warm, okay, but not to a certain extent that will really affect the tolerances of the component. Okay, we're going to see this in action in a second. Just, just one more question for you, Trevor. Um, the material type you mentioned there is quite a soft material. Do you practice this technique at Colchester Machine Tool Solutions on, on all types of materials, or is it restricted to certain, uh, certain types? No, 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 no. We will try on all materials, okay? We have some more demos at our facility here in Elland, which, especially in our VMCs, is actually running tool steel, dry cutting. Okay, we're going to see that one in a minute too. So, okay, well, let's get this machine in action and uh, see the demonstration. <laughs> 